So let's go ahead and open up the app. You want to change your country to Zambia. Click continue. And this is how it will look after you open it. Go ahead and click account. And then sign in or register. And register your account. You can, If you like, you can carry on with Google. Or you can put in another email. So once you've registered, then this is what it will show. You can easily change the country from here. Okay. Then if you click on settings, add your shipping address. This is how it will look. So you put in your contact name, your phone number, street house apartment unit. It means that the road, the house number, the road name, the area, then the province, the city, the province, the town, and the zip code, 70232. Then you can click default and click save. And in case you'd like to delete an address, you just have to click on there and click delete and it's gone. There. Okay, so now that my address has been set, I'm going to go back. And I'm just going to show you this is how your profile looks like help center in case anything happens like you, you want to find out about your parcel or you want help you can click there over here coupons cards here you can add in your card for payment then here is the pending which you have to pay f which orders are pending you haven't paid for then the ones which are in processing, it's here. And then the ones that will be shipped, you can click here and then you can track them. All right. So I am going to go and look for something. You start scrolling. This isn't like Kiku. With Kiku, you can... Um, with Kiku, the items are... The costs are with the shipping. For this, it's not. So let's just say that I want to go for this one here. I choose the size and then the next step. So it's opened up here. It's showing me images of different items. With AliExpress, it will show you a few pictures, but after opening it, you will notice that there's a lot more that they have available so this seller has all these things in this price range but as you can see everything is of a different range so let's just say i pick this i choose the size how many you want there's 27 of them available in stock and then here at the bottom it's going to tell you the shipping cost from zambia to, from china to zambia using standard shipping estimated delivery 60 days that is two months. When they say standard shipping, it means using um, local post. That is Zampost. So if they're going to send it through this, this is how much the supplier is costing and um, charging me. And then this is how much, I mean, this is how many days it will take for it to arrive here. If I click on here, so this is what has opened. It's giving me other options. If I click on other options here, as you can see, 53 days, that's 1,200 using a different shipping. Then 2,100, 8 to 12 days, this is via FedEx. Then via UPS is 2.7. Then via UPS Express is 3.1. And then it's 3.4 via DHL, 7 to 15 days. Always remember, that using other companies is more expensive. When you send directly to Zambia via FedEx or DHL, it is much more expensive. That's why these costs are like this. Every supplier has different charges. You don't have to start getting scared looking at the, at the cost of shipping. I'm just showing you that there are other options available. Sometimes there are even um, certain 
um, suppliers like certain products that the shipping is even just 10 kwacha. So it depends on what you're looking for. I'm not uh, saying that this is the only application you should use, but sometimes uh, there is some really good stuff on here and they have good offers. So you go ahead and you use this. I personally don't use AliExpress much because I don't like to wait for that long. I, I can't wait for two to three months <laughs> unless it's coming by sea and it's a very big um, shipment. So um, it's up to you. You can use it, but these are the shipping options here and you'd have to wait that long. Another thing you should know about AliExpress itself is that you cannot ship within China. So you can't say that you're going to send it, you're going to put your agent's number in there. You can't. They do not have the option as uh, China as uh, one of the countries that you can select. They just don't have that option because AliExpress is based in China, so they don't give you that option. You cannot put your agent's number and I mean address and then expect it to be sent to the agent. It can't happen. So you have to have it sent, sent directly to you. And if it's sent directly to you, you should be ready to wait that long. As you can see here, they're telling me 60 days as 136. If I can click here and then you see there's no other options available. Some suppliers have other options avail available, some don't. So in this case, what you will do is that you will scroll down and you can click on recommended. Okay, and then it will show you similar items. If you can see this one is now 29, it's cheaper than the one I was looking at. And if you go down here, it's giving me other options for shipping. So you have to really scroll through, try to find a few things. You see? And it's not that expensive. If you can wait, then that's not a problem. You, you can go ahead and wait that long. Sometimes certain things when I'm not in a hurry, I do wait. Especially when like the product is 30 kwacha and the shipping is only what 50 kwacha. So it's I'm just paying um, an 80 kwacha for that item, which is pretty worth it. And I'm not in a rush for it, so I can wait. And what happens it, is it will come to the local post here and you you just keep on tracking it. And once it's here, you can either call Zampost or they will actually text you. I've never had to call them. They always leave me a text that the item has arrived to Zampost and you just have to go there with your NRC and then you can uh, pick it up. But the only thing is the wait. The wait is really long unless you're ready to pay a lot more for shipping and then it will arrive faster. And as always, like I say, make sure to go through the reviews, make sure to go to go through actual images, never just go ahead and just buy something and be like, oh no, I didn't get very good quality. So these are actual images of the items. So you can check that, you can check the client reviews at the bottom, not just the stars, but actually what they've written. And then here, this is the supplier um, that it's coming from. So if you click on it, it will open up the suppliers page. And you have the option of chatting with the supplier. So if you follow, then every time the supplier gets any um, updates, it will update you on the site. If you click on here where it says contact seller, it will take you to the chat room where you can contact the seller and maybe ask them to send you actual pictures or you want other colors or you want to negotiate with them or you want to even try and tell them to uh, speed up your shipping. So you can try and contact and let them know. And you can just scroll down and to give you details of the item and go ahead and check out. So I'll choose whatever it is that I would like to check out with. This is what I want to check out with. Here's my summary of why my total has come up to that much. I'll click check out. Right, so you can recheck your address here. You can click here to add your card details. So I'll click here. You're going to put the card number. Then you're going to put uh, the names that are on the card, the expiry date, and the CVV there. And then you click Save and Confirm. And then here, if you want to increase the quantity, if you want to maybe change the shipping uh, method, 
So something I forgot to mention about this application is whether you order multiple items and you pay them at once, it's not going to come in as one order. It's going to come separately unless you order it from one supplier. So maybe if I order it from this store here, I order maybe 10 different items, then it will come in one package. But if I order 10 different items from 10 different stores and I pay it at once in one payment, it will be shipped out at different times and it will come in at, at different shipments because it's sent out from different suppliers. That's something that I have just seen with this application. Items have arrived at different times. Some have arrived at uh, maybe like 20 days. Some have arrived in two months, some three months, but I had paid at once. So I'm going to click on pay now. Once I click on pay now, it's going to do my payment for me. Basically, once you have paid, this is where it will go back to. And then you can see it will now be in processing. And once it's processed, it will update you. You will get messages over here. If your order has been um, updated, you'll get the message here. And then it will go on to shipped. And then when it says shipped, you can easily track it.